Cooking can be intimidating. Wine can make you think you're better at cooking, but it can also actually magically cook one of the hardest things to cook in the entire kitchen. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here's the deal. Fish can be intimidating to cook, but there's a guy, a French guy, I'll leave it to the French. His name, Freddy Girardet, and he came up with a magical method to cook fish that poaches, broils, and bathes it in white wine all at the same time. It's foolproof. We just need to get some shallots sort of as they are insulators, little car jacks, if you will, for our fish to keep the fish from touching the bottom of the pan. If the fish were touching the bottom of the pan, the pan would heat the fish from the bottom. We don't want that. We want it to have circulation of wine all around it. And I know this sounds kind of crazy, but it's gonna make sense. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> sea bass. So this is gonna work really well with a big, fleshy fish. So how about some pepper? How about some salt? Be, be generous. And now what this is gonna do is go skin side up into a black oven proof pan. Very important that it's black. Why? Black absorbs heat. You want it to be a pretty thick piece of fish because the whole thing is that this takes six minutes. If it's very, very flat, why wouldn't you just do it in a frying pan? But by the time the outside is brown, the inside's cooked, right? The hard thing about cooking a thick fish is it's really hard to time that whole thing. So, this is where the Girardet method comes in. So here's the main deal here. This is gonna go under the broiler, heat's coming down. The shiny, scaly skin of the fish, it's gonna reflect all that heat. The black bottom of the pan is gonna absorb all that heat. The alcohol will never get over 198 degrees, so it's going to perfectly poach the fish at a lower temperature than if it were water. And then eventually, as that skin starts to break down, it will crisp up and start absorbing heat as well. The whole thing's gonna happen in six minutes. Let's do it, let's go. It's magical. Let's see what Mr. Girardet has for us. Uh, it smells wonderful, it smells like a, a fine Japanese restaurant, which is always a good thing. Let's try this guy right here. See that? That's nice. So, is this the problem-solving method to all of your thick, fleshy fish cooking issues? My initial thoughts are yes. Nice. It's like a scallop texture. It's like it's falling apart. and it melts in your mouth. Really tasty. So we've got this fish, we could eat it, we could, we could put miso paste on it if we wanted, we could, we could slather it in some sort of a sweet sauce, but we are here in California, and I think the taco makes sense. Boom, some scallions, here we go. Sour cream. A hot sauce. Cilantro, very important in a fish taco. I'm gonna put a little bit in here. Now here's what I think should happen. I think you should put the, I think you should put the sauce down because it is like a glue for the fish. some Freddy Girardet Chilean sea bass, also known as Patagonian toothfish. It's a less popular name. Looks good, smells great. Some cilantro, some of this. Some lime. A little more hot sauce. Radish. Boom. Okay. Fish taco night without the beer batter, without the fry oil. With a bottle of Chardonnay instead. Here we go. That works. Magical. So I'd consider that an absolute success. Thank you, Freddy Girardet. Thank you, Modernist Cuisine, for making me aware of this technique. 
Uh, fish taco night is a lovely night, but it's messy with the beer batter, with the flour sludge, with the fry oil. Your apartment smells. You're doing it in batches. It's like a half hour. This is pretty much like set it and forget it. That's how I feel.